Hey everybody, Tokusa here and welcome back to another My Hero Ultra Impact video. So now that we have Steampunk Midoriya on our team, lock and loaded, uh, basic ability boards done, the peace route is done. Uh, no dupes, of course, if you saw my summons, you know I got shafted all the way to pity. Lots of fun there. Uh, but nonetheless, we have him completed to his max potential and we are going to beat the crap out of Climax Battle All Might. Uh, for those that don't have this Midoriya, you are probably well aware of how difficult SS difficulty is. Uh, regardless if you have the right team and build for it, it's still a long, aggravating fight. And sometimes you can even get KO'd, uh, even with the right team, like, assembly. So, I'm hoping that Midoriya is going to kind of make it like Bakugo, where the Bakugo Night Eight fight was a lot easier when you had that character on your team. I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing. You want to plus alter the crap out of Climax Battle All Might. This Midoriya has tons of plus ultra in him. Uh, and I'm going to build a team around him that's going to help with plus ultra gauge as well. So I'm assuming this will go pretty smoothly. I'm going to have some fun here because that fight has given me some headaches throughout the time. So uh, I'm going to hop, going to create a team, show it to you in a second. And yeah, have some fun clearing Climax Battle SS difficulty with ease. So be right back in a second. All right. So here we are. Climax battle. So this is the team that I have created. Uh, I kind of switched up a little bit. I think it's going to work totally fine. So I threw Momo actually on the bench. So kind of seems weird, but I think it's actually going to play out pretty damn well, right? Uh, our big cooldown reduction uh, player in the first lineup is Todoroki here. I gave him with these feelings. This is DX. So this is completely max. Uh, and as you can see here, this is super good because defense and HP and shortens character's action school. Cooldown time by two every three turns, right? Uh, so I feel like this is just going to work very good on him. I have the same thing on Celebrations Midoriya. And then the nice thing about Steampunk Deku is his action skill cooldowns are pretty good. They uh, flow very, very well, so I don't really need too much help. Todoroki lowering action skill cooldown times by one himself is going to be more than plenty. And yeah, I figured Momo on the bench is actually going to be better here because I feel like when she's in the starting lineup, or if I have her in the third slot or something like that, right? By the time she comes onto the back lineup with probably, in this instance, I would have had uh, Steampunk Midoriya, her uh, strong battle formation does run out. So starting here on the back lineup, I should get full usage out of uh, all the plus ultra gauge and ally, or just the plus ultra gauge is the main thing that matters, right? Uh, and the cooldown time to herself. So I figured this is probably the best lineup. And then of course, me and I removing buffs max HP. So we're just gonna hop in, have some fun. Uh, and yeah, hopefully decimate All Might, because this fight gives me headache. This, this is a painful fight. Uh, I'll probably play the Plus Ultra Man animations once, just because, you know, it's a new Steampunk Deku, even though his Plus Ultra is, you know, under par. <laughs> Subpar, I should say, for, um, for a anniversary unit, but that is okay. Uh, yeah. Excited to do this. This is gonna be fun. I, this is... Kind of just going in blank, not really knowing. Like, I, I have used Midoriya. I've done the PvP showcase, so I have an idea of how he works. And I did test him out in PvE stuff, just like, just to get used to the character, essentially, right? So I have a good understanding of how he is, but yeah. Should be should be great for this fight. I am very excited for this, so let's have some fun. Okay, so the damage to me, that's going to ramp up. He does tons of damage. The more he doesn't crit, the more his power builds up over time. I'm assuming this is going to be no problem whatsoever, so. And I don't know if I, I've, I stated it earlier in this video, but I will be trying to make a guide on uh, just characters I think that will be very good for this fight outside of Midoriya. Uh, I would make like an actual like, you know, fighting guide again, kind of like how I did the first climax battle clear. I'm not going to do that because there's a lot of characters that are very usable in this event or very good for this fight. I just don't have, unfortunately. So I'm probably just going to go over the kits. Kind of just go over the database, probably. I'll turn that down a little bit. And just uh, showcase it that way instead. Or, like, at least explain to all of you this the best characters for this fight. But, uh, yeah. I feel like this is probably the best approach. Instead of just showing you the, the few characters I have, because honestly... I haven't been able to mix and match too many uh, since my initial showcase to make it successful. I really like Celebrations Todoroki in this, right? He gives you barrier, and most of the time that doesn't work, but if you have somebody like, uh, I don't know, Mina on the team, like on the same rotation as him. What I used to have was Todoroki and Mina on my back lineup, and Mina removes buffs, and some 
the odd time, actually, it's pretty cool. Uh, Todoroki's barrier will come and play, and he actually will take zero damage, which is really good. And, of course, defense to himself. Gives himself max HP, which is really good, because this All Might loves to get rid of your healing, so you can kind of counteract it with max HP up. Uh, but, yeah, still an incredibly annoying fight. You really want to have somebody that removes buffs and then a lot of max HP. And, unfortunately, there's just not too many... Oh, and last stand. Last stand is very important. And yeah, it's just it's just tricky. It's a tricky fight to do because there's just not too many units out there uh, that do that, right? Mina and uh, Ce Celeb Momo are definitely the two best, I think, in this. I feel like they make this fight run so much more smoothly, which is why I think this back lineup is going to work great. Uh, and yeah, I just feel like if you don't have them, the fight becomes immensely harder. Okay, so my thought process here is max HP to Mina. Uh, this also gives max HP, so this will also give it to the whole allies. Oh, this gives last stand. This does not give max HP. Last stand, everybody. And look at that, we can plus ultra with Midoriya, which is going to remove buffs. This is the nice thing about this Dekujin. He removes temporary buffs, so anything All Might's got going on on that top bar up here is going to be irrelevant, which I adore. That is beautiful. So, even though we're not doing a three chain, I still think this is going to be fine. Midoriya has really good plus ultra gauge gain for the team with his one action skill so i'm not really too worried uh I'm not scared about this at all i feel like we got enough there temporary buffs down oh yeah didn't even do anything to mina she is too good uh but yeah this is the ability i'm talking about right increases plus ultra gauge of all allies by 20 percent and plus ultra proof skill impact by 45 percent the damage isn't really that important for this fight but that plus ultra gauge up is beautiful which should just allow us to plus ultra like crazy so I am very excited for that. And 97k. Yeah, you see? Midori gets these turns in. He just starts ramping up. The damage just starts going crazy. And look at that. Look at that. I didn't expect to have all three, to be honest with you. But having all three plus ultras like that. Mwah, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. The fight just becomes so much easier. But I still... Even though now it is easier for me and I'll be able to clear these with pretty much... A, wow. Okay, let me not talk. I could get... I could get blasted in this final phase so maybe not but so far how it's looking uh it's looking like you know shocker these next impact fest unit for the newest climax battle seems to be the key to victory which is just something i've never been fond of but uh yeah just, it's just unfortunate i hate that band i gotta you all gotta change that approach you gotta make it okay good good got rid of all those temporary buffs is this gonna do a lot of damage they didn't even hurt Mina. She is way too good. Do I plus ultra here? Uh... Nah, let's not let's not mess up rotations. Let's not mess up rotations this time. I don't like Momo just plus altering herself, especially when everybody's got their action skills available. I just don't think that's probably the right play. Yeah, I think this is definitely the smarter play, right? Mina doesn't have her action skills. It's, everything's just gonna flow better this way. He's spreading out the punches, which works out better for me too. Uh, and now I lost my train of thought. Just like that. It's just that simple for me to lose my train of thought. I'm gonna go back and watch this video after and realize exactly what I was talking about and just forget about it completely. Uh, but yeah, Mina, Momo, doing super well here. Four more plus ultras. He's basically down to one HP. I am not even hurt. And yeah, I'm always giving Min uh, Mina the max HP up because I uh, just... I I treasure her more than Deku for some reason. I just feel like Midoriya is totally fine. His plus ultra gauge is fine. I just feel like All Might likes to bully Mina a lot more. So I'm just uh, giving him all the love. Oh, so Mina's not plus ultra. This is an interesting turn. What do I do here? Um, hmm. Okay, so we're going to do double plus ultra here. Get it down to two. Throw this out anyways, because it does remove temporary buffs. I think that's probably the play. Right? I th I'm, I'm hoping that's the play. I don't know if that was the play, but we're going to go with it anyways. So that's going to put down three plus ultras. Midoriya is going to plus ultra here. <laughs> Deku is getting these plus ultras. This makes it so stupid. Hopefully that removal of buff and everything is good enough. Okay. Oh my goodness. She's literally invincible. They're plus altering. Get out of my game. We're going to win right here, aren't we? This gives last stands to everybody, so no one's going to have to worry about getting KO'd here in one shot. This is going to be a plus ultra that removes buffs. And then even if there were more buffs, 
Steampunk Deku here would get rid of it. Oh, this is going to be bread and butter now. Uh, that's what I was saying before. Glad it came to me before the video ended. Uh, Bandai, you need to take a better approach. Oh, Mina took a lot of damage there at the end. Of implementing a larger variety of characters to beat this with. Now, I know there. I have seen posts on Discord and, you know, other places like Reddit. Where uh, you have you are able to beat this fight with, like, a very, you know, underwhelming am amount of characters. Or I shouldn't say underwhelming amount, but, like, underwhelming, like, characters. Like, just from older characters, very old characters I've seen this beaten with. Like, I've seen this crushed, I think, with MND Aizawa, which is bizarre to me. Well, I shouldn't say crushed, but still beaten. Uh, climax Battle uh, All for One is actually really good here because he removes buffs, right? So, like, I know there are some really skilled players out there that can, like, maneuver around this character's, uh, like, kit. Uh, I'm not one of them. I am definitely not one of them. I am, uh, I'm one to even just forget character's kits the next day I'm recording. So, I'm not good at that. So, uh, for those that do watch this video that are, you know, like, higher skilled and have team ideas or strategies to beat this, uh, post it down in the comments below. Try to help with the community. That's always what I'm trying to do here. Well, I guess this time I just kind of want to beat the crap out of All Might here with uh, Steampunk Deku. But I will be trying to make a more thorough, like, like list of characters that you can beat this with, right? Like, the characters that I don't have. Fantasy Bakugo is very good here. Fantasy Ochako is very good here. I believe uh, Purple Aizawa is actually quite good here, right? There's just a lot of characters here that I don't have or just aren't invested into at all that I would really like to share with all of you that do watch my videos. Uh, just so you can try to get this SS difficulty all climax battle all might completed because it is it's a doozy It's a difficult fight, especially if you don't have Midoriya and especially if you don't have celebrations Momo and like you are Mina, right? Somebody giving you last dance somebody giving you max HP Like that stuff not being available to you and me not getting rid of like buffs, right? Midoriya getting rid of buffs. It makes the fight tremendously harder. So uh, That being said even though I'm having fun, you know crushing all my now and i'm going to do the rest of my attempts today with this team uh the following day i'll try to like i'll go back to struggling i'll try to figure out some strategies or certain teams that i can beat it with that hopefully you can all relate to or can have like similar structure of like hopefully characters of the same you know uh you know usability kit wise that you can kind of implement to a team anyways i'm rambling on that's my attempt with uh steampunk deku he makes this very very easy that was not even a, a challenge whatsoever uh and yeah best of luck if you are trying to beat this uh i would like i said guide or list of characters coming soon that i think will help you beat this fight tremendously and yeah until then take care i had fun was it worth going to pity for this character just to beat this event easy no absolutely not i wish i could have the money back <laughs> but can't do anything about the past i got the boy and uh we're going to have fun beating the crap out of all night. So until the next one, take care and talk us out.